How you doing? How the fuck you doing? Alright, sorry for no uploads on Monday, but as you know, I have been, uh, busy as fuck. So, here it is. Tonight will be another episode, which, uh, is now for you. And, uh, a second one uploading right after that, motherfucker. <laughs> so, hope you guys are fucking ready, because we're going to continue with self-defense. We have to go to Mr. Carpenter's house, so we just arrived in front of that motherfucker. Let's get in. Let's get in. A little blackmail, a little larceny, a worthwhile scrap or two. Just like the old days. Just like the old days. Hey, don't point your gun at me. I'd have broken all your bones, fella, if Papa Brute hadn't put you off limits. Off limits. But baby, you can touch me anywhere. There are no limits with me. <clears throat> Sorry. So where is Mr. Mr. Carpenter Derbder? See in this room? There he is. Oh, hello. How you doing, handsome? Oh, how you doing, handsome? Mr. Carpenter, glad to see you in good health. Yeah, I'm glad too, kid. It was hard to make it here in one piece after all that turmoil. I never expected this from my own son. I'm sorry for that. Eh, yeah, never mind. Nothing wine, women, and song can't fix. I'm still going strong, kid, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. I didn't see Graham here. What happened to him? I had to ensure my own survival, kid. I don't think you want to know more than that. Aw, oh, man, he killed him. I wanted to thank you for bailing me out of jail. That was very helpful. Yeah, sure, kid. But you must understand that your freedom ain't yet insured. They still have a witness against you. Milton Pierce. I can make sure the police swallow whatever I feed them. But I need some morsels to offer. You get me, kid? You need evidence of my innocence. Find the one to blame and let my taskmaster know. Old Brutus will do the rest. Old Brutus. Who is this Milton Pierce? Ah, another rich rascal running for mayor. Nothing special. Just your typical weed height scum. Do you know where I can find him? No idea, kid. From what I've seen in newspaper interviews, he's all over this town. All right. Thank you. I should go. Wait a second, kid. Take this. It's a fine tool for Ooh. sticky situations. Make you good hear? use of it. Will do. Thanks. Yeah. Watch yourself, kid. Oh, the Thompson. Oh, my baby got ammo again. Hello. That's what I'm talking about. I don't feel like making... You waste the bullets so fast. I mean, it's super strong and shit, but like... But like... Alright, uh, I couldn't learn much about Milton Pierce. All I know is that he lives somewhere in Reed Heights and is currently running for mayor. He had an interview in the newspaper recently. Alright, so we should be going. Where should we be going? To the Daily, the Oakmont Chronicle. That's where we gotta go. Alright, so hope I'm fucking right. Or else, uh, you guys will be going with me on this walking journey for no motherfucking reason. <laughs> Man, how's everybody been? How y'all been? You guys good? If you're still following me this far, then uh must be doing something right, right? <laughs> I mean, we chillin'. We chillin'. I'm uh real excited for Wolfenstein coming out in uh two weeks ish. Two uh two and a half weeks. It's gonna be really good. I hope uh we'll have Sink and City wrapped up by then, at least the main story, and we'll continue with side quests and stuff like that in um uh, until it releases, maybe we can play a different game, maybe we'll find something fun on a, on a store or something. I don't know. I don't know yet. Let's we'll see how it goes. Okay, gotta go that way then. Yeah, I hope it's gonna be good. It should be fun for sure. I'm still debating on if I am gonna play Madden 20 on my, uh, on my PC. Because it is released for PC, so that's kind of cool. But I'm not 100% sure that I will, um, I will play it. It's not my kind of game, but I have. I don't know. Maybe the new one is going to be fun as hell. I'm not 100% sure. All right. Finding a witness. 
Okay, so he's a people. He would be an official. Uh, in Reed Heights. Probably get articles and interviews, maybe? <laughs> oh, hello. What's good? All right. Today, our correspondents had the chance to roam the beautiful alleyways of eastern Reed Heights. All for the sake of interviewing one of the most promising polit political figures in Oakmont. Pierce's property and apartment building tucked away on Museum Avenue between Communion Road and Haylog Street. It's definitely a grand sight, but Mr. Pierce takes pain to assure us he's in touch with the needs of the humble man meeting re regularly with community leaders. Alright, so, um... So we'll be in Reed Heights, and then uh, Museum Avenue. Okay. Let's check it out where that mall will be. So Reed Heights. It doesn't tell me where, where the book it is. Oh, Museum Avenue, got it. All right, between Communion Road and Haylog. So it should be right there. Oh, that's a long walk. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. See you guys there. Delish. So what do you guys like to drink? You a big fan of pop? Or just, uh, just soda? With bubbles or without? I love Coca-Cola, man. Coca-Cola and Red Bull. That's, uh, that's what keeps giving me that energy. Which makes me keep pump. Or die. Alright, so where that motherfucker be? Seems like a place for a political office guy. Maybe up here? Ooh. Is this it? Apartment of Milton Pierce. This guy sure had some blood on his hands. Literally. <laughs> ten out of ten joke, am I right? Let's shut this door. No. Fuck you. Hey, he must be taking his election campaign very seriously. The fuck is this Julius Caesar looking motherfucker? <laughs> Milton, my earnest friend, it's been a while since we last met, and I wish to remind you that my door is always open for you to pay me a visit. How about we finally hold that seance we've been talking about for so long? I expect to see you at the Crown Theater soon. Warmly, yours. Johannes! Is he planning to become the Prince of Oakmont, or is this just some light reading? I don't know, he might be a little cuckoo. From this day forward, a new vision will guide our city. From this day forward, it will be Oakwan's first. Every decision made on trade, on fishery, on newcomers, and in matters will be made to benefit the people of Oakmont. We must protect the boundaries of our city from both outsiders and forces of nature. Let's make Oakmont great again. Let's make America great again. Emptier than a banker's heart. Wow. Someone got changed here, in a hurry. They definitely kept some dirty clothes here. You can see the blood splatter. Well, that's kind of what my wash machine looks like. What's going on? Oh, we unlocked it. Letter from Throckmorton. I'll right, pause the video if y'all want to read it. Ooh, knife. The shape is familiar. I've seen similar daggers before. Yeah, we have in the beginning of the game. Letter from EOD. Pause if you want to read it. Oh, it's Anna. Anna, you whore. Can't go in there. The, the blood was spurting out of him, Robert. Just spurting out. Oh, it's all over me. L. No dialogue? Just drinking? Ah, where's my dang tie? I should have been at City Hall by now. Voters won't meet and greet themselves. No. What the fuck? Get these out of my sight, Robert! Isn't that why we have a laundry room downstairs? Time to figure this out. Okay, so he comes in... The, the blood was spurting out of him, Robert. Just drunk. spurting out. 
Ah, uh, where's my date? The Get these out of my sight, Robert. Isn't that why we have a laundry room downstairs? Milton Pierce came home covered in blood. He ordered his butler to take his clothes downstairs and went to meet voters at City Hall. Ooh. Alright, so probably nothing. Oh, there is a basement. Let's go check out this little basement pit. Maybe we can find some loot. That's what I'm talking about. Give me damn fat loots. Never enough gunpowder, boys. Never enough gunpowder. Based on past experience, leaving it here was not the best idea. The smell of blood can attract all sorts of unwanted visitors. Uh, is that a hint? Is that a hint monsters are coming? Let's get the book out of here. I'm not in the mood for that. Can I go in here? Of course we can. Of course we can. Alright, let's see what we got. Dirty laundry. Milton came home with his clothes stained with blood. He ordered his butler to take them to the laundry room downstairs and went to meet a potential voters at City Hall. Alright, so City Hall would be... right meow. It's pretty close. I'll just walk that part. I will see you guys there. God damn, this place looks like a fucking White House. <laughs> I mean... Come on. Wait, I thought it would be its... Oh, there it is. Good day, Mr. Pierce. Bet you didn't expect to see me. How are you here? You should be in jail. I have good friends who bailed me out. I just want to talk. Well, okay. If you wish. Why did you claim I did it? Excuse me? Why wouldn't I? A friend of mine was killed. Why should I let that go? You saw the real killer. Tell me who it was. Want to know what I saw? I saw a bloody newcomer rush in, murder Johannes, and stroll out like it was no big deal. You're certain it was a newcomer? How can you be so sure? Trust me. Oak Manas know a newcomer when they see one. We locals can tell. You know I didn't do it. Quite the opposite, Reed. I saw your face. Or are you going to claim it wasn't yours? You seem like a rational man, Pierce. Can't we come to an arrangement? Are you attempting oh, to bribe a politician, Mr. Reed? What makes you think <laughs> I'd accept <laughs> such an offer? I'm sorry. Oh, because you are a politician. I must be politician. thinking of a different Milton Pierce. But let me tell you, my beloved mother is so old and so rich. <laughs> I'll miss her dearly when she's gone. I bet. Well, that's a non sequitur. Mr. Reed, how do I put this? I find my campaign hamstrung by a distinct lack of resources. Ah, <sighs> so it's about the money after all. I fear that all the budget pressures are affecting my cognition. If the situation were improved, perhaps I'd see things more clearly. I bet. For instance, I might suddenly realize I'd mistaken you for someone else. You could even remind me of whom. I could just kill you, you know. Great idea. Kill the only witness while being investigated for murder. I'm sure the police will understand. Oh, man. That's reasonable. But you're assuming, after all I've seen and done in this damn place, I still listen to reason. Threatening a mayoral candidate. You truly are a newcomer. Don't test me, boy. Well, if that's what it'll take, I guess I have no choice. Just make sure it looks natural and clean. You know the carpets there cost a fortune. Actually, take this. Comes well recommended from Professor Cavendish. Put it in a drink or something. Your wish is my command. Anything else? My dearest mother, Agatha, is currently at her manor. Here's the address. And Reed, don't come back here after. People shouldn't see me with you. Holy shit, that guy's a genius. Enough strike strike nine to kill an adult human with plenty to spare. 
I can use it to poison Agatha Pierce if I just put it in some kind of food or drink. Agatha Pierce's actress, Agatha Pierce Milton's mother, lives on Beacon Street near the corner of Bullock Street in Northern Old Grove. All right. Um, oh, my place. My place. Um, I'm shot Vandenberg is a newcomer. Married. Fear for family. Uh, marriage license. Okay. A marriage license. You can probably find that in City Hall, though, right? Oh. No? Alright, tried everything. Looking for a newcomer. I'm pretty sure you could just find that at City Hall, right? Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see if it's in there. Looking for a newcomer. There you go. Uh, newcomers. <laughs> Glenn Gordon Byers and Evelyn Catherine Lane residing at the Revenue House of the corner of Powder House Street and Orchard Avenue. Eastern Shells. Alright, so we got that motherfucker done. So now we got the newcomer and killing the mom. So how about we go to the newcomer first before we start uh, bloody murdering the mom? <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ, that didn't even fucking... Well, I, I guess I had a choice, but you know, sometimes it's got to do a little murder. Sometimes it's got a little killing. Killing fucking little bitches. Sorry, sorry for that. Sorry, my bad. Uh, pause if you want to read them. Alright, so uh, well, let's do marriage license first, and I'll see you guys at that motherfucking location. Alright, so we made it. Let's see where those damn newcomers are at. The door won't budge. The door won't budge. What a fucking surprise. Are you Glenn Byers? Yes. Who are you? Charles Reed. P.I. The guy taken the fall for your murder. Okay. How did you find me? Are you serious? I'm a private eye. Now don't make this any worse for yourself and answer my questions. Damn. Why did you murder Johannes Vanderberg? I had no choice. I am an honest man, sir. I have a family. My, my sweet Evelyn and Michael, her... Our son. I didn't want to do it, but they had him hostage. I don't even know Johan, or whatever he's called. You and I look rather similar, wouldn't you say? How is that possible? I... I don't know. Uh, this is the face I was born with. <laughs> I'm <laughs> just as confused as you are. Do you have any relatives in Boston? Not that I know of. Uh, my family is from Providence, Rhode Island. <sighs> just another of this town's oddities to add to the list. Right. Do you know who's responsible? Uh, it was a, a gang. I, I'd never seen any of them before. Uh, this guy gave me a gun. Uh, uh, Will? Maybe? Uh, but I, I don't know if he was anyone special. That's all I know. I swear. I bet. Tell me exactly how it all happened. Uh, they broke into our house while I was out. I, I came home and found the broken door. Uh, there were signs of a struggle, but my family... Poor Evelyn. They were gone. Oh, man. You never thought to report their abduction. Why not get help from the police? I wanted to call the coppers. I did, but they sent... The coppers? They sent me... Oh, drunk. I can't. It's still on the table. I have no guts to touch it. I'll need to inspect the place where it happened. If you have to. It's next door. I locked it so no one can get in. And so I don't have to look at it again. Okay, let's They're say dead? I believe you. So they were just You've kidding. done the deed, so where are your wife and son now? I don't know. The gang leader promised they'd be released, but they haven't returned. Please, you got my job I, I realize I'm in no position to ask, but can we make a deal? Depends on the offer. I am guilty. A deal? I took a life, but you have shouldered the blame. I will turn myself into the police and make this right. When I hand over the weapon, 
They will have to believe me, but I can't do it until I know my family is safe. Right. So I rescue your family to save my own skin. In a nutshell. Yes. <laughs> Pretty so much. What's your answer? Fine, I'll do it. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> I don't like it, but I'll do it. Fine. You. You're a better man than I, Mr. Reed. Well, duh. I'm sorry that well, I put you in uh, this position. I don't know about that. But I will make it right. I promise. Well. Let's go and inspect that little room then. Who in hell would think to use a spade as a weapon? Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm talking about. Some of the boards look fresh. No dust. Hmm. This door will be hard to fix. I guess, yeah. Some of the boards look fresh. No dust. Um. A guy in a terrible yellow scarf came here last night. He was asking too many questions about dad. Funny. I'm already calling him dad. Anyway, I told him nothing. I said get lost and today. Seems like everywhere I go lately, I find blood. Crepe, silk, and lace. Must have been a pretty dress before it was torn. Yep. That should be it. Right? No? What am I missing? Who in hell would <laughs> think to use a spade as a weapon? Oh, wait a minute. The spade's the best weapon ever, man. Hit him with the spade! Um, fuck. I think we gotta go downstairs. Or is there something here to investigate? Old but clean and shiny. That's definitely been taken good care of. So, the home of a suffragette, huh? What's the, what's that? What's a suffragette? Hmm. I think we got to be looking downstairs a little bit. <sighs> the door won't budge. <laughs> they just... Maybe I can... This door will be hard to fix. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go figure out what to do next. See you in a bit. Alright, found it. It seems like you're reluctant to do the job. Here's a little something to motivate you. Get on with it. Get what am I to do it. now? Well, the fucking, I thought that was it. I thought that would finally give me my little vision. It didn't. Oh. There used to be some writing here, but it's been washed off. At least partially. Here we go. Oh, she was smacked. Open this door or I'll kick it down. Don't you dare touch my mom! I see. What happened here then? Catch up to us when you're done. And don't waste any time rescuing Martin. He's expendable. I think I'm starting to get the picture. Mm. Catch up to us when you're done. And don't waste any time rescuing Martin. He's expendable. Open this door or I'll kick it down! Don't you dare touch my mom! No. Um, I think this one's first. Just in order. Open this door or I'll kick it down! <laughs> don't you dare touch my mom! Don't you dare? Catch up to us when you're done. And don't waste any time rescuing Martin. 
He's expendable. He's a gang broke in and kidnapped a mother and son. The latter fought back, knocking an attacker through the floor. And the rest of the assailants left with the hostages. Damn. Alright, this will be a good part to end the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye-bye.